gathered in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, today we uh, commemorate Sir Matthias the Apostle in some, the vigil of his feast stages tomorrow. And after the betrayal of Jude, Jesus by Judas and Iscariot, the Apostles brought their number back to Tzvala by choosing Matthias to replace him. He was chosen by lot from amongst the disciples. And the author of the Acts of the Apostles sees apostleship differently from Paul's interpretation of the role and seems to reflect the understanding of uh, Luke's own gospel. Now, the number had to be restored so that they might sit on thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel. It was conditional that they had have uh, been with Jesus during his earthly ministry and a witness to the resurrection. The point of being chosen by the lot rather than by some democratic method indicated the election or choosing by God rather than mere mortals. So our collect and our reading will come uh, from uh, those attributed to this particular feast. Uh, the Lord of glory be with you. Uh, the Lord bless you. And as we prepare to celebrate the mystery of God's love revealed in word and sacrament, let's call to mind uh, our sins. You were sent to preach the good news of light in the darkness of the world. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You were sent to plant in our hearts a seed of eternal life. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You were sent to reconcile us to yourself by the shedding of your blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness. And keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, and you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And I'll poet for this the Feast of St. Matthias. Almighty God, who in the place of the traitor Judas chose your faithful servant Matthias to be of the number of the twelve, Preserve your church from false apostles and, by the ministry of faithful pastors and teachers, keep us steadfast in your truth. This we ask through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. So let's hear the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you, so that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends, if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer, because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my Father. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and I appointed you to go and bear fruit, 
fruit that will last, so that the Father will give you whatever you ask him in my name. I am giving you these commands so that you may love one another. And this is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. So let's declare our faith in God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Together we pray. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is known. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. So let us pray for ourselves and our world. Father, your Son called men and women to leave the past behind them and to follow him as his disciples in the way of the cross. We ask you to look with mercy upon those whom he calls today, marks with the cross, and makes his disciples within the church. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Your sons hold his disciples not to be afraid, and at Easter breathe on them his gift of peace. Look with mercy upon the world into which he sent them out, and give it that peace for which it longs. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Your son formed around him a company who were no longer servants but friends, and he called all those who obeyed him his brother and sister and mother. Look with mercy upon our families and our friends and upon the communities in which we share. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Your Son sent our disciples to preach and heal the sick. We ask you to look with mercy on all those who yearn to hear the good news of salvation. And we ask you to renew among your people those gifts of healing. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Your son promised to those who followed him that they would sit on thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel and would share the banquet of the kingdom. According to your promise, look with mercy on those who have walked with Christ in this life and now have passed through death. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We'll just have a few moments for our own private thoughts and prayers and intentions. Almighty God, grant that your church may faithfully hold and make known the faith that has come to us through the apostles. We with them and all your saints may inherit the glories of eternal life as we ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We are fellow citizens with the saints and the whole household of God through Christ who came and preached peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. Holy God, receive all we bring before you this day and bring us also to that radiant glory which we see in the transfigured face of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. And now we give you thanks because your Son, Jesus Christ, after his resurrection, sent forth his apostles and evangelists to preach the gospel to all nations and to teach us the way of truth. And so with angels and archangels we join in the unending hymn of praise as together we say, Holy, 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 
holy Lord, God of power and might. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Father of all, we give you thanks for every gift that comes from heaven. On the night before he died, Jesus shared a meal with his friends. He took bread and thanked you. He broke it. They it to them, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this to remember me. After the meal, Jesus took a cup of wine. He thanked you and gave it to them, saying, Drink this all of you. This is my blood. The new promise of God's unfailing love. Do this to remember me. Father, as we bring this bread and wine and remember his death and resurrection, send your Holy Spirit that we who share these gifts may be fed by Christ's body and his blood. For your Spirit on us that we may love one another work for the healing of the earth, and share the good news of Jesus Christ as we wait for his coming in glory. For honour and praise belong to you, Father, with Jesus, your Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Being made one by the power of the Spirit, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray, our Father who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in the one God. Hallelujah. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the peace. Hallelujah. Body of Christ, broken for us. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and reign with you. 